Hello and welcome to the BTEC Bite Size series for the BTEC Tech Award in Enterprise. Today we're going to look, be looking at how to prepare learners to use their time effectively during Component 2, Task 1. Timings of assessment. So there are two releases each year for both Components 1 and 2. These are referred to as the December-January window and the May-June window. The December-January window uh, are dates and these refer to when the work is moderated. Learners access the Pearson set assignment from October for submission in December and then it's moderated in December and January for results to be published in March. Similarly, the May-June dates refer to when the work is moderated, learners access the Pearson set assignment from February for submission in May and moderation in May and June and results are then published in August. The monitored preparation time. So let's have a look at some do's and don'ts. So please do give learners approximately six hours, give learners access to the internet, give learners access to potential customers if that's a possibility, ensure learners produce some preparatory materials to use during the supervised sessions. So for example, research notes, screenshots of websites or review sites, data, references to research and practice. Allow them some time outside of lessons if required and do check the authenticity of learner notes. Please don't allow learners to pre-prepare any answers to any of the tasks. Don't allow learners to interpret, analyse or evaluate their research. Don't allow learners to pre-prepare their business plan or their financial statements, nor their risk assessments or any other responses to the tasks. And don't allow learners to write in extended sentences or paragraphs. During the supervised conditions, do allow learners the appropriate time for each task as outlined on the Pearson set assignment. Do hold work securely in between sessions. You may want to consider doing one task after a period of appropriate teaching and learning if this will work better for your learners. Do allow learners access to the internet for sourcing visual content. Encourage learners to reference their work. And please ensure they use the business plan template that's provided by Pearson. Don't allow learners to discuss their work with others, nor allow learners to access emails, nor allow learners to remove their work from your possession between the supervised periods. Don't allow learners to access any previous mock tasks they may have undertaken. And please don't provide learners with any direct input, instructions or specific feedback. So how can you prepare your learners for the monitored preparation time? So the only parts of the PSA that change for each series are the idea types um, that they're allowed to select from. Therefore, prior to the monitored preparation time and using the sample PSA or a PSA from a previous series, learners can have structured activities or discussions around the understanding of the requirements of each task. And some of the ideas of these are given on the next few slides. They can also have time to investigate valid and appropriate research sources to support the above. So in the specification content are the um, suitable ideas that will be listed on the PSA that they're able to choose from. So what they need to consider is any research that they could do to help them find out more details for these and choose which one to plan. So they need to consider own interests, resources, constraints, finances, costing and pricing, promotion, customers and gaps in the market. Those are listed in the specification content as the areas that which they've got to consider ready for task 1A. They need to consider what reasons given the research undertaken is there to select one and reject the other. Things that they could have discussions on or activities based around for task 1B. So what are the financial and non-financial aims, the product features, the pricing and the promotion? How do these meet the needs of the target market? What research can you include in your appendices to support this? What physical, financial and human resources are needed? How do I know these are realistic and accurate? What research can you include again in, in their appendices to support this? What costs do they need to find out in order to create their cash flow, their profit and loss and their break even? Again, what research can they include in their appendices to support this? 
What are their main risks? What details do they need to find out? How could these be overcome to beat their competitors? What research, again, can be included in their appendices to support this? Is the business plan viable in terms of their finances, their safety, ethics, laws and the environment? And again, what research can they include to support this? How to use the monitor preparation time effectively. So split the six hours, the approximate six hours into different stages that may help some learners. Familiarise themselves with the PSA. They may want to highlight pertinent text. They may want to make notes on the PSA as to areas where research is necessary or questions to ask their customers if access to them has been organised. They need to con conduct research that can be online research or questions to potential customers. Best practice would be to do this on an electronic document so that learners can then copy and paste that research data straight into their assessment work for the supervised period. They need to write up their notes. This may be during the research phase or after, depending on individual learners. They may want to review their notes, so encourage them to review their research. Is there any gaps in what they need and what they have in terms of the research that they found? Do they then need any additional time to find any further research out and add it to their notes? So please, please remember that it is permissible for them to actually uh, tackle each of these tasks in a piecemeal manner. If you have any further questions or queries, please feel free to contact Colin Leith, our subject expert. He can be contacted through the support portal, via telephone, via email. You can join the BTEC Business and Enterprise subject group and also the BTEC Business and Enterprise Facebook group. He also um, has subject advisor updates and a Twitter feed. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you found it useful and please look out for, for our other videos in the BTEC Bite Size series.